For years, I have been building Stirling generators with the aim of supporting our solar plant in winter with a reliable and low maintenance combined heat and power plant fueled with self produced biogas, firewood, or wood gas. The new concept of the thermoacoustic Stirling engine offers many advantages over kinematic machines, and I am now trying to use it to build a powerful generator. My new Stirling is a scaled up version of the simple, low power prototype with much larger heat exchange surfaces and the ability to use higher working gas temperatures and pressures. To calculate a completely new design with the help of theory and delta EC, my understanding of thermoacoustic principles is not yet sufficient. I therefore relied on the most important length scales of wavelength, gas displacement amplitude, thermal penetration depth, vicious penetration depth and the scaling of a well-functioning prototype. For a significant increase in performance, the heat exchanger surfaces must be much larger and made of heat and pressure resistant material. I machined the heater from 1.4571 heat resistant stainless steel and then eroded 52.7 mm wide slots into it on my homemade electric discharge machine. The eroding process took much longer than planned and I had some problems. The difficult flushing of the deep, narrow slots led to repeated short circuits. The thin copper electrodes were bent by wear and some of the plug connections in the EDM machine could not withstand the overload and had to be replaced after melting. This is a job I don't want to do again. And while the EDM was still working, I was already making the next version of the heater, this time for drilled gas passages. Narrow slots offer much better heat transfer than easily produced not too small holes, but three weeks of problematic eroding every evening compared to two hours of simple drilling really does make a difference. Once the gas channels had been produced, the thermal buffer tubes could be welded to the heaters. The regenerator is made of 76 stainless steel wire screens of 40 mesh with a diameter of 60 mm and is the heart of the thermoacoustic Stirling engine. The regenerator is where the Stirling thermoacoustic cycle takes place. The traveling wave phase condition is only met here. The rest of the engine is acoustically a standing wave. The two coolers are made of aluminium with water cooling and initially only drilled gas passages. Different variations in heat exchanger geometry can be implemented very quickly as the coolers are relatively easy to build. Both the turning of the radiator discs and the drilling of the working gas passages are very fast. The 3D printer is then finally used to attach the core branch to the base plate. The connectors are soldered again. Depending on the operating temperature, I might want to use 3D printed parts here later to quickly try out different geometries. Optimizing the feedback branch has a lot of potential to improve performance, as I already noticed with the prototype. Now everything has to be connected and then I can make my first startup attempts initially with a provisional burner. All this has been a lot of work and for a change I now have made this video. I hope to be able to report on the working engine and initial performance tests soon and look forward to your feedback and comments. Thanks for watching.